Hi, and welcome to Andy's Let's Plays. Today we're playing Terra. Hi guys, welcome back to episode number 112 of Andy's Big Sorcerer Let's Play. Uh, we're going to go ahead and fire up some charms here, including a including an infused charm. Uh, nice, minor, minor infused is, uh, well, good enough for now. Uh, so we'll go ahead and continue with where we were last time. We want to fight these Lokian blood shapers and or blood spillers and blood shapers, yeah. And uh, once we take them out, we should be able to uh, fight more of those groups of enemies that we encountered last time. So that'll be interesting. In some ways, I think the uh, the blood shapers are the more dangerous. Wow, alright. Evidently my jump back triggered and then didn't really do much of anything, so... We just took a lot of damage there. Um, well, we didn't, but our shield did. So... Unfortunate, nonetheless. I just gotta kill this person, because... There we go. They heal themselves, they're really irritating, so not something we want to fight for a long time. Alright, uh, that's them taken care of. We'll shield up here in one second. Two, one, and shield. And then we should be able to try to engage this group. Blast the, uh, there we go. I took care of him. Initially, I was worried about the fact that he jumped back out of the... Uh, God dang it. That was a miss. Alright, let's try... Uh, let's try just using the Ice Storm. So as long as we can lure that guy to run into the storm, we should be good. And of course... He jumps back as soon as he touches it, so... He didn't take very much damage from the storm, but at least, uh... He was able to take out all of the little guys, so... There. Not a problem. I wonder if we can take out this big flowery guy with one... One AoE shot. Hmm. Almost. Almost got him. Took a bit more than that, though, to take them out. These things are not worth fighting. They're just interesting. They don't move around so you can try out abilities on them and whatnot. Alright, so let's uh, let's see what these guys do. Uh, that took all of those out. And the jump back as, as expected. Ooh. We just got uh, syntonic steps, so let's see what those are. Looks like Lancer, yep, Lancer Berserker gear, uh, so kind of useless to us, level 53 or above, so we'll have to sell those off at some point. And neither of these are better than, yeah, we just got those other slippers last time, so. Alright, let's go, let's go. Blast them. Try to... Yep, there we go. Nice. So we are only up to 4 out of 12 Chaos Crests. So that's going to take us a lot of fighting to get. So we're going to continue our way around here. And try to get some more of those. AoE. And then... Of course... The semi-effective... Uh, so let's see, yeah. I, unfortunately, I don't really have a whole lot to say about our questing right now. It's uh, pretty much the same as what we've been doing the past several episodes. This whole region's full of, you know, what I would consider to be really good quests in that uh, they're just simple, you know, go, kill this, kill that, give me these. Um, 
but you know those those could be really boring for some people so you know it, it is what it is I, I think it's good XP um, I'm trying to remember what exactly was our level when we kind of came to this area at first and I think we've gained I know we've gained at least one level here. I think we might have gained two. I'm not certain about that though. So, also looks like we're getting past. Well, nope, there are more of them over there. Oh, I had clicked on, I clicked on a different thing for the that. So, there we go. This is the on our map now is the distribution area for the guys we're currently fighting. I had the other uh, the other map up from our previous quest, and that's why it showed up differently. Let's get um. Nope. Okay. Cool. None of them. None of them taken out. That is fine too. I'll try to jump over here. At least these uh, these big axe guys have like really low health compared to other stuff in the area, so they're very easy to take out. They're a piece of cake. Okay, looks like looks like we're encountering the blood chargers and blood mag magus magus blood mage guys uh, for the quest of bloody mess. So. Let me go ahead and take out another group of these. Who knows, maybe we'll get six, uh, not six, three more, three more pendant crest, crests, that's what they are. Um, I want to try to wrap up the crests quest, crest quest thing before we move on. Hmm. There we go, that's 11. That's 12. Nice. Alright, so now we can, uh, now we can shield up. We'll take on Mr. Blood Magus here. Hmm. That's interesting. Uh, for a second there, I had a little bit of what seemed like lag on uh, on my spell casting. Curious. Oh, that's a that's a vanguard guy or whatever. All right, let's see. Bam, bam. That last one. There we go. That'll at least get both of them. And there we go. Good, good, good. We'll go ahead and mana up here. I gotta track these so that I know that we're in the right area. Looks like they extend through here, so we should be good. Good to keep going. Actually, wait a second. Back in this direction, we have a quest to turn in, too, so... We may as well go in here, see what, uh... What's going on? Wow, that that one shot at that blood magus. Nice. Love when that happens. All right, we're gonna avoid the avoid the hellhounds. Um, ah, I see. We probably should have come from the other direction since this connects to the top and the bottom uh, of this area. But here's our here's our outrider. There we go. We want to accept this quest because I think we yeah we aggroed these guys. And there they go back. All right. Uh, so kill Tholak and Hothga. All right. Hellhounds. 
Alright, well, we'll take on the Hellhounds since we're here. Then we'll head back in order to uh, complete our other quest and turn in stuff. Uh, there we go. Looks like uh, 14 of these shouldn't take us too long at all. They don't seem to have a huge amount of health, uh, so it shouldn't be too problematic. It's kind of interesting. Uh, it doesn't look like he can attack me. Well, not until then. But, uh, that was kind of neat the way he was just staying behind the fence. There we go. Makes me kind of question the AI behind that. Like, they usually don't try to just walk in a, a perfectly straight line, so... I'm kind of curious what made him decide that he was stuck. Like, oftentimes, I don't know, in like, uh, not the Lord of the Rings, what am I thinking? World of Warcraft, um, there'd often be humorous situations where NPCs would, like, run straight up the side of a cliff in order to get to you or something like that. Um, that's a lot less prevalent in Terra, and I think understandably so, since so much of the game is based around positioning and avoiding attacks and stuff. The NPCs are for the most part, bound to similar constraints that uh, players have to follow. So, you know, they can kind of walk and move in the same areas and not in the same areas. Or rather, they can't move in the same areas players can't move. So, it's kind of interesting. Um, I don't know if that has to do with uh, why that particular enemy was just chilling there, but, you know, in order to keep it kind of fair, I can see why they would do that. So, that's that's my guess, at least, my outsider's guess. Well, let's see here. Shield up, and that, and try to blast this guy. There we go. We got another one incoming. See, like, they just... I swear to God, I think they see the thing on the ground. That, or it's just, you know... I only pay attention to that happening whenever they are doing something really annoying like that, and that's why I notice it, but... It is... It is really irritating when they're just like, Oh, hey, that, uh, that AoE on the ground, how about that? Let me just, uh, let me just hang out over here until... Yep, okay, it's gone. I'll, I'll go now. I'll move now. And attack you. It's like... Really? Really? Alright, what is... Wow. Bet sale? Level 60. Fimberlisk. Wow, that's... That's scary as all get out. Alright. Well, uh, let's see. Barbition. Where is Kalraz? He's over there. We need more blood chargers, which means going up north here. So we'll go ahead up north. And we also need to take out Tholak and Pothica. So we'll do that as well. There we go. Blast this guy. Oh, our shield's down. Our shield is down. There we go. Uh, I'm gonna jump back, and there we go. We managed to land a nice storm on the blood charger. Perfect. Uh, so we're gonna need to take out a few more of these. That was really unfortunate. There we go. At least we took them out. Uh, so let's see. Three more pairs? Three more pairs. Mana up here. I know I haven't been gathering very much. Um, let's see what our gathering is up to. 276. 250, 267. Alright, let's, uh, let's grab this Zero Metal. 
We may as well. I know this is wasting our regen, and I feel bad about that, but... Okay, there we go. Bam, bam, and... Let's go ahead and engage. Perfect. We got the Lancer into the storm. That took care of him. I'll grab this, and... The two guys that we have to kill, Kotholak and Kothika. Well, they're... Yeah, I don't know where I have to turn this quest in, so I guess I will kill them. Let's go. It's kind of a weird quest. They're just like running around. Yeah. Oh, he's like... Oh, I'm stuck on a rock. That's why I can't move. Get back here. There we go. So that we have to turn in elsewhere, I guess. Oh, I just realized I missed something. All right, let's let's kill this guy. We should only need a couple more of these groups. Yeah, two more should do it. And this is. Just past the, uh, just past the area with those hounds or whatever, hyenas, whatever you want to call them, that we fought just now. Uh, we need to turn in uh, another quest to a guy who... Wow, we have, like, no mana without the infused charm. That's really irritating. And, of course, Mr. Lancer is just like, hey, I'm gonna, I'm gonna derp around over here. Not doing anything until you get close to me. What's up? There we go. That's him taken care of. Okay. So that's those eight. Uh, or those eight pairs. Uh, but what we have to do is go through this way. Past, uh... Past Mr. Big and Scary there. And through this tunnel that he's not really guarding, but just sort of standing in front of him, so... Uh... Hi. There. Alright. There we go. We have aggro? No. I think we're good. So, that's where we turn that in. We turn in that. And what lies beneath... Uh, that would be... Oh well. Okay, so we did have aggro. Alright, so we need to... Oh man, we're aggroing more. Of the... No, we... we're not. We're not aggroing more. We just want to avoid these ones. So we're going to run into this tunnel here. Um, and if you had a group, you could kill. Or if you had time and patience and such, you could kill these storm lizards. But uh, I have none of those things. As a result, we are going to go through the bridge here, and... Ah. There we go. Destroyed carriage. There we go. We investigated the carriage. Cool. So yeah, you could, uh, you could fight the storm lizards if you are so inclined. I'm not, though, because they're awful, and I don't want to fight them. We'll leave the umbrella butts in their umbrella butt valley. So, let's see here. Go back past, uh, or we'll turn this in. There we go. And let's stop following that one. We're going to go up here and turn in our quests at the camp now. Back past Mr. Scary Lizard. This whole area is full of scary. Well, that's that guy might be a lizard, but he's more technically a fimberlisk, so I guess we'll just call him Mr. Scary Fimberlisk. The scary lizards are the ones buried underground. So anyway, uh oh wow, that's a that's a really, really pretty mountain. I haven't noticed that before. 
Yeah, every now and then I'm really impressed by the scenery just because uh, they have a tendency to render the far off scenery pretty darn well, uh, which makes it look really sort of atmospheric and like it exists in the world. You're not just in some chunk of land that's kind of separate from other things. Anyway, let's uh, let's duck in here. Got this quest to turn in. Bloody mess. That got us a bit over half a million. And that one. And we are good to go. So now we're gonna head back to where we just fought those two uh, NPCs. They've probably respawned, but we might be able to dodge past them, or we'll just kill them again because we need to get past. Um, normally we would have killed them, then proceeded straight across the bridge, but I wanted to take care of these quests first. So, uh, yeah, these NPCs are guarding the bridge, and that's where we're headed. So, can we go past them is the question. Uh, oh, hello. No, we can't. All right. And apparently we can't blink well either. Huh, blink well would make such a cool sorcerer name. I just realized that. Man. It's kind of a pun on inkwell and blink and good blinking capabilities. Man, if we can't get the name big, I'm totally naming the character Blinkwell then. Alright, so... These things damage us, you may have guessed, by the sparky fire laser beams. And if we want to make it across sparky fire laser beam bridge, we're going to have to run from area to area. Oh, oh, okay. Oh, God. That was bad. So, doing precisely not that uh, would be good. So let's go ahead and shield up again here. I want to be shielded just in case. And then... Let's see. Fired. Okay, we'll run forward. Alright, cool. Why can't we blink? Oh god, oh god, we're dying. Okay, we made it across. Part one. That was awful. Um, I'm going to use a potion, since we are all out of bandages. And our shield is down, so if we get hit by this stuff, we are going to die. As a result, I'm going to wait uh, wait 30 seconds or so, let the shield come back, so I'll be right back. Okay, so our, uh, our shield is now back. So we're going to go ahead and shield up, and it looks like these kind of go in sequence. So we should be able to, with the exception of those two. There we go. Run through. So as long as you pay attention to the sequence that they're going in, it's not too hard to avoid them. Just don't rush and, you know, try to make it through without getting hit. Because if you do get hit, you get knocked down, you get out of sequence, it just makes it really frustrating to get through. Uh, fortunately, as a lancer, you can block some of that um, if you face the beams. Unfortunately, that means not moving and not being in the right direction to move when you do, so that makes it kind of tough in that regards. Um, but yeah, there's, there's different stuff that you can do. All right, so let's see here. We need uh, we need temples of we need the temple of Sikander, uh, crests of Sikander. So Sikander defenders or Sikandari defenders. Uh, so let's see. Those are these guys. We'll go ahead and attack them. Uh, there we go. Looks like they pull in groups of two. So 
We'll have to bear that in mind for next time, certainly. Uh, since we are not going to finish all of these quests today. The next time we may be able to get through them, and if that's the case, I believe we'll have some more pretty darn cool story quest stuff to do. Uh, there's these Sikandari champions who start out crouching down, but then they rise up all crazy-like. So, they are pretty menacing. There we go. Lots of guys to fight. Um, oh, and after having spent so much of our money last time on a Chrono Scroll, it's worth noting we are up to 365 gold, so really making a good amount of progress um, towards more money. Not to worry about that. Uh, it does seem like we'll be okay on cash. There we go. Nice. So yeah, we'll probably just uh, play it pretty casual and spend the rest of this episode trying to take out some of these guys that uh, are around the area here. See what we can get done um, on these quests. Shield up. I would uh, I would use additional regeneration scrolls and whatnot, but uh, I'm not sure it's worth it right now. Well. That's tough to say, because the regen scrolls are like a gold each, so they're not terribly expensive. It's kind of great that we're at the point where a gold for a scroll is like not a lot at all. Um, but that being said, uh, we don't want to waste them, so I'm going to try to regen mana manually. And then next time we'll be able to put a whole mess of scrolls in the fire and get all of our regen up real high. We don't need a huge amount of regen just for casual casual fighting either. Nice. Looks like we are at uh, 4 out of 6 of the secondary champions. Uh, those things over there, those are the consecrated terrorists. Those are for um, another quest in this area, but it's one that we do not have the required firepower for, so we're not going to be able to solo that effectively. As such, we're not going to be taking those guys on. Um, as we move forward, we're probably going to encounter a large number of group quests like that. Uh, for the sake of the flow of the show, or episodes, or whatever you want to call them, uh, as normal, we're probably going to avoid doing those. If it gets to the point where we need to do them to progress, then, you know, we can definitely look into that, especially um, if we look into getting some guild help for stuff, then that would definitely make it very doable within the, within the format. Um, of the sort of half-hour episodes, so, you know, might be something that we do down the road. This stupid little bird thing. There we go. Hey, he was carrying the whole gold. Nice. Alright, so that guy uh, marked the last one of that quest, so we can go turn that in. And then we've got, uh, at least two other quests here, the cre Crest of Sikanders, and uh, the Crests, rather, of Sikander, and uh, the other kill six big ones and thirty little ones quest, which is on the other side of the courtyard, I think. Uh, and then we'll be heading up into the temple, which will be interesting. So, alrighty guys, um, Thank you very much for watching. Hopefully you found it interesting or entertaining or whatever, and I uh, look forward to seeing you next time. So, bye!